So you think the earth looks like this? A perfect spherical globe? This is actually a digital rendition and not real. It actually looks like this. This is a gravity model of earth. Red zones indicate higher gravity and blue zones indicate lower gravity. Looks wonky and weird, isn't it? Just imagine how difficult it would be to measure things on this wonky surface. Let's simplify things a little bit and bring back the nice blue globe. Let's give our globe a proper shape. Squished at the poles and bulged at the equator. We call this an oblate spheroid. There is a difference of 13 miles or 22 km between equatorial and polar radius. Let's visualize it with numbers. Here we are assuming Earth's surface is smooth, no humps and bumps. Equatorial radius is 6378.137 km and polar radius is 6356.752 km. Now this assumed Earth surface is mathematical model simple reference surface on which we can measure easily. We call this WGS84 ellipsoid. This mathematical model is derived from the earth gravitational model. The coordinate origin of WGS84 is located at the earth center of mass with just 2 cm uncertainty. Let's expand a bit more, shall we? WGS84 is all-encompassing smooth model upon which we do all the measurement of position and height. We also call it a datum. Heights are measured from its ellipsoidal surface. The smooth surface does not always match with actual ground. Say if you are at sea level, the ellipsoid might be above you. So you will get a negative value. And if you are standing on top of a hill, the ellipsoid can be below you and you will get a positive value. The aim is to harmonize and standardize the measurement on Earth's surface where everybody is on the same page. GPS satellites also conforms to this standard and your smartphone also gives position in WGS84. Now the question you should be asking, if this WGS84 system is perfect for very accurate measurement everywhere? The answer is no. Though WGS84 fits the globe nicely, it does not cater for local area distortion like in Indian region for very accurate measurement. India and many other local regions have different datums. So what are they? How do you measure in these regions? I'll tell you, but please subscribe and keep watching. But before you go, check out this video about latitude and longitude in 5 minutes geography. I'll see you soon.